My relationship with reading has been on a roller coaster ride for quite some time now, but I'm happy to say that I've finally fallen in love with reading all over again. And because I've been enjoying this new hobby of mine so, so very much, I wanted to share with you what has helped me get back into reading in the hopes that it will reignite your bookworm flame as well. Sorry to break it to you right off the bat, but you're gonna need a little bit of introspection to get started here. Meaning one day when I felt particularly frustrated that I could not read one page, guys, one page for the life of me, I sat my ass down and started going back in time, wondering when and why have I ever stopped reading in the first place? If you've never been much of a reader, rephrase the question to why don't I enjoy reading to begin with? What is off-putting about it to me? In my case, I realized that the culprit was the university mentality that I had to binge slash speed read through giant boring textbooks and extract as much information from them as possible. In uni or in college as well, reading for me became this burden, this chore that I had to do quickly and efficiently. Books became for information purposes only and any novel or poetry book I wanted to read started looking like a waste of time when I had, you know, six clinical psychology textbooks waiting for me in the background. Mind you, as a student, I still read for pleasure or so I like to think so, because like I said, novels and like more sci-fi books were perceived as being unproductive. I turned to self-help or self-improvement books. I need to make an entire video on that and how it just destroyed a bunch of things in my life but that's a topic for another video. I thought that if I was going to waste my time reading, I better get something out of it, you know? So reading self-help books became the same as reading academic textbooks. I hated every second of it. All that to say, I realized that my beef with reading was the waste of time element. Now, how did I fall back in love with reading? Quite spontaneously actually. My boyfriend and I went to Quebec City for a weekend because he had to attend like a work conference. So one beautiful sunny summer day while he was at the office, I was browsing the shops until I found a bookstore nearby where I spent literally over an hour picking out a book I wanted to read while, you know, eating lunch on a terrace somewhere. The book I ended up choosing was the one and only The Secret History by Donna Tartt because it gave me like Harry Potter meets elite dark academia vibes and so I started giving it a go. I told myself, well, this isn't a waste of time because technically I am wasting time until my boyfriend gets off work so that we can go have dinner later that day. So my initial bias towards reading was squashed. And so I read while eating lunch. Then I read at the hotel as well after taking a shower. And then I kept reading every night when we came back home. So my recommendation to you is to identify your core problem with reading, question it and cancel it, even if for a little while. And then pick up a book that you vibe with. Very important, you need to vibe with the book and the book needs to vibe with you. That's another thing that I believe holds people back from enjoying reading and that's the 30 day reading challenge trend or the hunt for the most critically acclaimed book of all time. Speed reading and productivity might actually cause more harm than good when you're trying to read more or reignite your love for books. Stop focusing so much on how many pages, how many minutes, how many books, and just read. Allow yourself to get immersed into a story without having to constantly break your flow to highlight a passage or take a pic for Insta. Would you pause a movie like 30 times to get a notebook and take down a quote from a film? No, at least I hope not. And I'm sorry, but I never understood this. Like who goes back and reads those notes? I have many notebooks, actually more than actual books, packed with like passages and quotes from thousands of books and they are gathering dust in my parents' garage. Trust me, if you are marked by a passage or a beautiful paragraph, it will stay with you. Not word per word, but the essence of it will remain. So calm the fuck down. 
okay? Take a chill pill. And finally, I'd like to finish off with the most popular conundrum when it comes to reading. How to make the time to read more. Sorry to say, <clears throat> but I call bullshit on this one. I just spent two hours on YouTube and social media this morning and I'm sure you do the exact same thing. So let's stop kidding ourselves into believing that this is a time issue when in reality, it is a priority problem. We prioritize scrolling through TikTok or binge watching Netflix series because these are instant, short-lived dopamine highs. If you want to read, then you will choose to read. And if you choose to read, then you will read. Simple as that. And one final piece of advice, if I may, stop putting so much pressure on the act of reading itself. There is no right way to do it, okay? For example, I am currently reading three books at the same time. Before that, I was laser focused on just one that I finished in a month. Give yourself the freedom to enjoy reading, however it might look like at that time for you. Thank you so much for watching guys, but before I end this video, I would like to tell you a little bit about today's sponsor, Shein, who has your back for back to school 2022. I've been buying from Shein since my very first day at uni when I had a limited budget, but knew the importance of personal branding. Now, what most people don't know about Shein is that they carry different brands in their online shops, such as Motive, Emery Rose, Romley, Daisy, Musol, and my recent favorite, Simple Retro, which by the way, is a woman designed and owned brand that started in NYC. I've been loving integrating their pieces into my existing collection and I'm currently building my dream professional wardrobe with the help of Shein and the many brands they hold in store. I don't know about you, but I love me some elegant dresses, some comfy sweatpants and tees for those intense study sessions on my bed, and everyday basics like bodysuits, day dresses, and skirts so that I can always look and feel on point. If you like any of the pieces shown in this clip or want to check out some more, I invite you to click the link in the description box below. Mind you, all the items I've tried on are also linked there as well if you want to check them out. And feel free to use the coupon code q 2 animascara at checkout if you end up seeing something you like. Thank you so much for watching guys once again and thank you to Shein for continuously supporting this channel. Very, very, very much appreciated. Love you long time. Bye guys.